Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be making a custom. So I ran to Walmart and got everything I needed, including glue, glitter, and of course my Thomas, which was from my collection, personally. And I wanted to do something really interesting, and I've had this idea uh, for a few days, or, well, sorry, excuse me, for a few weeks. Um, I actually work at Walmart, and it was over in the stationery department, and I saw this glitter, and I was just like, that would be perfect for gold dust. And the thought's been stuck in my mind forever, and I was just like, you know what, I'm finally going to do it. And that's when I decided on my last two days off that I was going to try this. And I did it, so it's actually filmed in two increments. The first footage that you're watching now was filmed on last week at the time of filming, and then the current footage after all of this was filmed this week, and that's just because of work and everything. But I wanted to show you the process that I went through in making this engine. Um, it was a really fun process, and it's cool to be able to show you what I do step by step. Now, the footage that you're watching, um, this clip right now where I'm actually making the engine, is at 8 times the original speed, and that's just because the video was 9 minutes originally. I was like, no, 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 we are not doing a 9 minute video. Um, so I was able to cut that down and just had to speed up the process. All in all, though, I was excited about how this worked. It could be a little bit clean with the gold dust of, uh, you know, putting on the gold dust glitter, um, a cleaner application. But I'm glad, with, or happy with how it turned out. And I'm glad that I was, uh, that I did try this. Because, like I said, it was something that's been in my mind for a while. Um, I actually don't count the Magic Railroad as canon in my layout or, um, I want to make my own series someday, but I, I don't count the Magic Railroad as canon, just because, as a kid, the movie never made sense to me. Um, however, I've been working on a few projects lately, and um, I'm not going to say anything, but I do have news about that coming soon. And so this has a little bit of an extra more special meaning to me than it normally would. Um, I'm still not counting Magic Railroad canon in my series, uh, but there are other YouTube series and, you know, the show itself seems to canonize it. And does Sometimes it doesn't. So Anyway, now that he's dried for about a week, you can see I'm moving him off the plate here. Dumping all that excess glitter off and saving it for uh, later. It always makes, you know, don't want to waste product. And then you'll also notice, too, that I'm on a table and there's actually no carpet near me. Make sure that if you do this, do not get it near carpet because it will not come out. And this also sticks to your fingers really bad, so be careful. Um, if you do try this project, make sure to have a parent's permission first before using any kind of paint or glitter on your trains, but especially don't do it in your carpet or other areas or anything, because it could, could stain it and get it on there, and you don't want to do that. All right, now let's take a close-up look at Thomas. Now, you'll notice here that on the front of the buffer beam, there's a little bit there, and also swirling around the sides, which is what I wanted to look. I wanted to look as if it was just swirling up from the Magic Railroad. And you can see as I move that uh, light back and forth, how it makes it look like it's shining, just like it did in the actual movie, which I thought was really cool. The back's plain, as most Trackmaster models are. And then here's the other side. This is my favorite side, just because it's a little bit thinner of a coat and actually makes it look more natural, like it's naturally swirling. And then on the roof here, you'll notice that there's just a little bit of gold dust on top. I really, really like that. I really don't mind it that much. It's not too bad, in my opinion. But... All in all, I'm happy how this turned out. It was really a test, but I think it turned out pretty well. The gold dust looks like it's actually swirling around Thomas, and to be honest with you, this isn't going to get much runtime on my layout. It's more of a display item, but I'm still very proud of how it turned out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all again very soon. Also, let me know which engine you'd like me to customize next. Bye!